Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I created this beautiful design on my nails using Madame Glam products. I am so excited to share this video with you guys as I have had this idea um, for a while now and I'm just so excited to just post it and let you guys see how I created this look. But anyway, the first thing that I do basically is I just apply my acrylic and I am using, I think this is called Barely There from Nail Nails and what that is, is it's just a basically clear with a little tint of pink powder and I'm just building up my nails. I will be using two beads on all of my nails. But what I'll do, I'll just let you guys watch as I apply the acrylic on all of my nails. I already have applied my tips, prepped all the nails and everything, and I decided this video is mainly going to be for Madame Glam, so I just want to basically have um, the whole video focusing on that rather than the acrylic. But I know you guys like to watch the acrylic application, so I decided to leave this in. The quality of me applying the acrylic is not the greatest, but I promise you, once we come to the gel application, it will look a lot better. So I just realized I should have mentioned what brush and acrylic, so the monomer that I'm using. And if you guys are wondering, I'm using the 1.2 monomer from CJP, which is my absolute favorite, and my Queenie brush from CJP. And yeah, after I've applied all the acrylic on all of the nails, I like to come in with my hand file and I'm using the Tornado nail file from CJP as well. And I'm just going to reshape all the nails and go over the surfaces as well to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Then I like to come in with my e-file to further smooth out the surfaces and mainly focus on that cuticle area to get that nice and sealed. So this is the most exciting part of the video like this is like the most important bit and thankfully is the clear bit as well so I'm pretty pretty happy that the quality was a lot better than the first section but anyway I am coming in with Madame Glam's workaholic gel polish and you guys I have never used Madame Glam before they sent me these goodies to try them out and share this with you guys and let me tell you I am hella impressed like you guys can see right now I'm applying one coat of gel polish and it's full coverage honey so you can get away with one coat and leave it but because I did not buff the nails you can see a little bit of scratches on these surfaces which means I have to come in with a second coat if it wasn't for that I literally would have been fine with one coat this is so creamy and it was just so easy to work with it's not too thick not too thin I just really really enjoyed working with this product I'm not getting paid to say this I basically just got sent the products which I'm very thankful and grateful for them 
but I am genuinely very impressed with the quality of this product. Um, so far, no problems whatsoever. And oh my god, let me let me just let me just let you guys watch how creamy that is. Like it's going really really smooth on the nails. I'm only using one coat and it already looks amazing and the color is just absolutely gorgeous so i highly recommend you guys check madam glam out i will leave my discount code link down below i am lucky to have a discount code with them now so it's lukey nails 30 and if you go onto their website and use that code you will get 30 percent off but look how gorgeous the nails look and it's only one coat Anyway, I like to basically come in with my second coat and then just cure for a full 60 seconds. So once I cured the nails, I basically like to come in with my cleanser and I just like to remove the inhibition layer, which is the tacky layer that the nail polish leaves. And then I will come in with, I think this is Jet Black from the gel bottle. I wish it was Madam Glam, but you know what? I had to improvise. Um, but yeah, I'm just using my fine detailer art brush that I got from Amazon. I will leave it linked down below if you guys are interested. And I'm basically just going to draw a dragon. I was really, really nervous to do this. I did have to trial this out on a nail tip and it worked. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to do it on the nails. And as soon as Madame Glam sent me their products and I seen the colors, I was like, hell yeah, this is what I want to do. So what I'll do now is I'll let you guys watch me do this dragon. I feel like it's easier for me to let you guys watch rather than me ramble and tell you what I'm doing when you clearly can see what I'm doing. So I'll let you guys watch. But if you have any questions or tips and tricks, I shall give you them if you contact me on Instagram or email me at lukeynails at gmail.com. So my Instagram is just lukeynails and my email is lukeynails at gmail.com. One thing I'd like to mention is that when you're drawing anything on the nail, especially something as detailed as this, you want to give a rough outline first and then you want to come back in and define that um, outline. You want to make the lines nice and straight. You want to have everything look nice and neat. Don't focus on that too much when you are actually starting the, um, the design. Focus on the neatness. Is that even a word? Focus on how neat the design will turn out once you have the outline. So you will see me just do a rough outline. And then once I'm happy with the placement, I basically just come in again and go over it to make sure it's nice and neat. Also, I wanted to mention that Madame Glam were nice enough to send me the mini lamp, which is absolutely cute. And this was perfect for designs like this because it can flash cure your designs, which means that whatever you have drawn so far, you basically can just flash cure it for a couple of seconds and the design will not move. So if you basically do that, so when you flash cure, um, and you have any mistakes on the next step, you can always just wipe it off with acetone and the design that you done first will be there, um, you know, safe basically. I hope that makes sense, but 
I really do recommend that you flash cure after every step. So I would flash cure after I've done this design, what I'm doing right now. Once I'm happy with the placement, I would do that. For some reason, I was just being a bit too confident and I flash cured later on. But I would recommend that as soon as you're happy with your placement, you want to flash cure and do the next step. So as you can see, I've cured that bit and now I'm coming in to create this next step and I think this is when I'm a good girl and I do flash cure in between so yeah I think you get the gist of it but I'll let you guys watch because I feel like I'm rambling again So once I'm happy with the dragon on the middle finger, I like to just flash cure with my Madame Glam mini lamp and then I like to move on to the next nail. When you flash cure, if you, for example, I don't know, touch that finger with the paper towel or just knock it with whatever, the design will not move. So I highly recommend you flash cure. I think I've said that multiple times, but it really is important to flash cure when you're doing simple, not simple, <laughs> complicated designs like this. And I am very grateful that I have this and that Madame Glam sent me this because it was just perfect. It worked out absolutely perfect. And this is my first time ever working with a mini lamp. So it really did um, help with this design. I feel like it would be a hassle for me to keep putting my hands in the big lamp um, whereas this one is just so little it's, ha it's got like a usb cord and i've just you know just grab it whenever i need it so it was very very convenient i also want to thank madam glam for sending me sending me these gorgeous amazing products i was really excited when they reached out to me because i already knew that they were an amazing brand i've seen multiple successful nail techs use them and you've reviewed them and you know i feel like they stick with using the products because they really are good quality so i got really excited because for me that's like a major thing it's like the first brand to reach out to me and they're like a very big big amazing brand so i'm very very grateful and so yeah i want to thank madame glam for that they have literally just made my day because i was just really excited and i really wanted to come out with a design that will not disappoint them and i hope i did not disappoint them with this design but anyway i'll let you guys watch i am doing some flames on the rest of the nails i came in with the index and what i did was like a little resemblance of the dragon i don't even know what to call it I feel like it was just like an extension of that dragon and then on the rest of the nails i came in and done some um flames and i've just done them on like random locations so this one comes from the cuticle i think the pinky i do it on like the tip and then yeah the thumb i think is on the tip as well but i'll let you guys watch
So I've cured all of the nails and now I'm coming in with the Madame Glam top coat. I was really impressed with how shiny this top coat was. It literally looks like a glass effect on top of the nails. It was very easy to apply as well. Um, it's not too thick as well or not too thin. The consistency was just perfect. Um, and yeah, I just felt, I feel like with a lot of other top coats, I just have to kind of shake the bottle and make sure everything is nice and, you know, smooth. And then sometimes I have to like apply it on multiple locations and just keep going. I feel like with this one, it was quite easy for me to work with. So I really, really enjoyed applying that. But one thing I really didn't like was it was um, a wipe top coat so you had to wipe the tacky layer off which was not really major but i just wish this was a non-wipe top coat but anyway i applied cuticle oil on all of the nails and this is the final look i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel also, don't forget to check out Madame Glam's website for amazing products like the ones that I've used in this video. And yeah, I shall see you in my next video.